Hi, Shelly here, another video blog. Um, yeah, so I want to talk to you about uh, distractions. There's some really cool chairs over there actually. I think we might get them. Focus. Okay. So apparently it takes only 40 seconds of staring at a screen before you lose focus. So about now, in this video, you're gonna be looking around for something else to do, or someone's gonna distract you. 40 seconds, that's it. I was like, no way is that the case, until I started to observe my own behavior. So Chris Bailey talks about this in his book, Hyperfocus. If you haven't read it or listened to the audible, uh, give it a go. I uh, am attempting to finish the Audible because uh, every time I listen to it, I feel like I need to fully focus and then I struggle and I get distracted and then I stop listening and I just haven't finished it. So the reality is, particularly in today's environment with so much happening and things going so fast, is that we get distracted a lot. And so minimizing your distractions is highly, recommend it. Uh, my sister uh, calls these the distraction llamas and often when she's feeling distracted at work she will send one of those jiffy llama uh, photos across and distract uh, her whole family so thanks for that Narelle. Uh, and other times she'll just say there's a distraction llama in the building uh, which means we know that she's having a relatively unproductive day which is very rare for my sister. She's a highly productive. Uh, but I think it is recognizing when you are becoming distracted and being able to refocus quickly or to remove the distraction, to remove the llama, to get rid of it, to send it to a farm or something. The distraction llamas can come in a lot of different shapes, sizes and colors. So it could be uh, distraction llama in the form of a notification. So if you get notifications on your phone, even if there's no sound, but it's just the icon that pops up or on your computer, uh, then that's going to distract you. And it's, it's going to have a big enough impact to take you away from what you're doing. So remove your notifications if you can. Have times throughout your day where you will allow yourself to get distracted. I think it's really good for your brain to be able to take a, a rest when you have been focused on something for a long period of time, but be intentional about that. So schedule that in your calendar. Make sure that you're focusing on work that you love and work that inspires you and that you're passionate about. If you're not doing work that inspires you or work that you're passionate about, then it might be time to have a chat with someone about what's next for you. It is so much harder to remain focused when you don't actually fully enjoy the work that you do. So that's a big part of it. Uh, another one is, you know, pick your environment. So for me, uh, my best work gets done in really, really busy environments. Uh, when I'm at home in my office and one bird cheeps, is that what they do, they cheep? Um, it is enough to distract me for half an hour and it takes me that long to get back in. But I can be in a really, really busy environment, like a food court or generally a food court, um, or a really busy co-working space, and I can absorb myself in whatever it is that I'm working on and not be distracted at all. So I think be aware of uh, what your distraction llamas are and start to move them on and to become more focused and intentional about what you're doing. So, yeah, that's probably all I want to say now. This is about time for me.